He kind of actually did his part Who's... to the team. <laughs> like taking the witch? You he, start... he laid right, his I, genitals I wanna, on the shoulder of the witch. That's what we needed from him. <laughs> Hey there, Grumpy. What the? He took it. He took it. He took it. Somebody kill him before he heals. Go. No, just let him go. <laughs> you people are slow. Let him have it. Entire city is gone. If you can read this, leave. They're not gone. They're right outside. They just hate us. <laughs> They're just very angry. Yeah, that's. Those are not the same thing. Am I the only one not using a hunting rifle right now? <laughs> well, I'd be using a military sniper if I had one. I'm using an AK. Is it an actual AK still, or did you get the Thompson? No, it's an AK. So, Johnson, uh, since oui. we're on the subject, kind of, um, <laughs> really French, okay. Um, you're you're an artist. What? Like an actual you legitimate artist, you you make you make art things. <laughs> uh, now we know something about Johnson. <laughs> no, we've all known that for a long time. We've talked about this before. Um, so, what are what are your thoughts on the whole plagiarism thing? I mean, is where do you draw the line between plagiarism and appropriation? <clears throat> wow, extremely complex issue to actually talk about seriously. Um, well, I mean, I, you got anything else better to talk about? We've already said the mod's fantastic. I mean, this map is really nice. It looks great. There's a lot of cool lighting in here. It's it's not been too boring, even though, you know, there's there's a good mixture of uh, it's a, it's a good balance. It's not too hard. It's not too easy. It's been good. All right, I'll there, try. I'll try way. to lay out some general statements uh, that cover way too much, way too easily. As soon as this tank is dead. There's a tank. Yes. There's at least tank music. Well, he's around here somewhere. I just don't know where. Good one. Where is he? <laughs> Clever tank. <laughs> oh, there he is. What's there up, he is. tank? Is he behind us? Ow, he just hit me with the... I got him. I got him. Oh, smoked. Smoked. Ow. I'm coming. Thank you, zombie. I'm coming. Leave me alone. Hey, is he... Uh, no, he's on fire. That's fine. Yeah, I set him on fire. I finally used the molly that I picked up in the first level. <laughs> tank death. He's down. Alright, tank's dead. Johnson, please continue. Alright, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down to two statements here. Uh, for one thing, uh, motivations matter. Did you intend to uh, deliberately steal the work of another person? And then on top of that, again, an oversimplification, but Johnson, we're gonna go with Johnson. it. What? Heal. There, oh. There's a med kit down there. Go ahead and heal before Lewis moves to get it. Alright, the second thing would be that when it comes to actually commercializing it, who got there first matters. So even if you did it by accident, if somebody else gets there first, you can't complain. Oh, the nope, gets over here. This way. This way. Oh, oh it's gone. Quickly. Where'd it go? Oh, Lewis. no, it's right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Behind okay. the, uh, there you go. Great okay, job. Okay, so that was it. A huge oversimplification. The basic idea. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I was being hunted. Can you can you give me the Reader's Digest of that one more time? Uh, gave you the I'm, Reader's I'm really Digest. Motivations the first time. matter. Who got there first? Yeah. Motiv uh, motivations matter, and who got there first? Yeah. Okay. That's the gist of it. I think a, at least from a story standpoint, I always take a very ecclesiastical view of things. There is nothing new under the what sun. Is, what does Paul have to do with this? Yes, but remember one very important thing. Solomon wrote that a very long time ago. and Solomon didn't write Ecclesiastes. Yes, he did. I'm being, I'm being facetious. <laughs> I was, I was going to sit there a minute and wait for the punchline. Um, but anyway, he wrote that a really long time ago, and obviously lots of new things have happened since then. So I think what he was more trying to convey with that statement is... There's nothing completely original under the sun, but things often combine into new combinations. Because there's only a limited amount of stories, for well, example. But there's oh, that, lots of details really and twists you can change. There is a, well, yeah, you can change. You can make it. You can make the story your own, but it's still going to be this. The basic concept's not going to be new. Yeah, I mean, it's still going to be broken down into that. protagonist, diff, you know, challenge, uh, overcome, so on and so forth. Well, yeah, that's part of the reason I always. I always kind of get a little, 
what's the word? Not angry, but it's kind of just weird when people Squirly? say, well, that story's just this story done over. And it's like, yeah, well, that story was also another story done over. Yeah, exactly. Oh, kind of like uh, when people say The Last Samurai is, or, or excuse me, no, uh, Avatar was just The Last Samurai in space. Um, that one's a little bit severe. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that feels pulled straight from it. And again, motivations matter, but Pocahontas got there first. You might want to heal. There is a witch, by the way. I'm healing up. So she's I'm not in be that, uh, slowing you down. She's, in, she's over there by that tent, Jotsam. Totally it's, worth it's a try. It's best, really. Yeah, we just just ignore things. All right, I'm going to the po porta potty of shame. This is really starting to hurt. Let's talk about it. Into the shame. Into the shame of potty. <laughs> Come on inside. There's room for one more. <laughs> hey, Thaler, room for one more. Uh, does anybody have competing this is ideas a very on cool street. plagiarism appropriation? Hmm. I think I pretty much said my piece. I feel that there is a, there are basic stories I get retold over and over it. But I mean, yet, it, yes, it is a new way. The Ur story. I mean, you can always break down, you can always break down a story into its component that's pieces. Been done. Yeah, but at yeah. what what point is somebody guilty of plagiarism? I think I think when you start to get, I, I'm trying to think Intentions? of the best way to. Yeah, it has to do with intentions, and it also has to do with, I mean, you can you can tell when something's pulled directly from something, and when something just happens to have a similar story arc. There's right, still well, a lot me, of interpretation let me ask you, both, let me, let me ask you both the question, then. Let me ask you both the well, question. Yeah, do you, do either the of you believe... Too... Do either of you believe in accidental plagiarism? Yeah, that's when who got there first becomes yes. important. Then you have to respect. Okay, that. well, I was yeah, gonna well, say if, look if you worry, that. if you believe that accidental, if accidental plagiarism can actually exist, wouldn't that therefore mean that Ow. intentions mean nothing? Because whether well, no, you, whether or not concept. you intended to plagiarize. <laughs> I'm not talking about concept. the legal definition. There's lots of things that we don't agree with legally. No, I think that I'm talking about thing, your, your personal definitions. I think that there's different stages of severity, and something like accidental plagiarism is not something where the creator is particularly guilty. But I think that they have a responsibility then to step back and say, I'm not the first person to do this, and I'm going to not contest that idea. Okay, I am under attack. There we go. Got you. You bet you did. So if a person appropriates something, let's say that a person was going to <laughs> remake, yeah, somebody liberated something and, and reappropriated it for their own purposes, do they have the right, do they have the ability to defend their work if somebody tries to uh, then appropriate their work in a manner that they believe is plagiaristic? Uh, to a certain extent. Because it wasn't their, uh, that's, that's going to come down to, to damages. With. Are we ready for me to start this? Well, yeah. Well, right, I starting. think that also has to, I mean, that's part of the reason that we have, we have copyright law. is so that after a certain point, I mean, you, you can rework the work into something new. For example, Alice in Wonderland. I mean, how many Alice in Wonderlands are there? But that's public domain. But it's public domain because it's become a part of the culture to a point where it's, it's, I mean, when something becomes a part of the culture, I think it, it there's going to be appropriation of it, but for good reason, because it, it's affected people in such a way that they need to retell the story. But that's that's kind of my point, though. All right, so there's been so many reappropriations of Alice in Wonderland. So let's take, for example, the most recent one uh, with Johnny Depp and Helen Botham Carter. Uh, Bonham. Bonham. Helen Bonham Carter, excuse me. Uh, Lewis is dying, by the way. Okay. What? Oh, you are on top of me. Uh, <laughs> so... That one is just a reappropriation of, of the traditional Alice in Wonderland, and it's you know, uh, with all the bells and whistles, and it's got the same same kind of concepts and all that other stuff. If someone takes that and reappropriates it again to what they want it to be, do the people who made the Johnny Depp one have any right to complain? Well, no, because like, they were they were appropriating a, a work as. Okay. Not Dude, particularly. I would, ahead, yeah, I would say they can't complain too much. 
but at the same time uh, actual time does play a factor into this because stuff does become embedded in culture and become a part of culture and we reference it consistently throughout uh, but you also have to think about am I hurting hey, someone weapon. else there, there's some integrity to, to that to thinking well, about that, that, how you're affecting where someone domain else comes into. Hey, that's where public domain comes here. into practice mm -hmm. I mean the, re the purpose of public domain is to to allow an a author to make money off of his work so that you know, it, there's not a lot of damages done. Now, granted, that public, uh, copyright has become a little extreme in recent We went into years. it. We went in a circle. That's where we came in. Yeah, we did. Yes. But at the same time, uh, it, it does exist for a reason. I mean, granted, I mean, you know, we're sitting here talking about copyright as we play a let's play of someone else's game. <laughs> But we're not. This, we're not. This is a first hilarious of all, this is a video. Mod. It's. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it's my fault. I take full. I take full responsibility for this. It is your fault. It's completely your fault. <laughs> um, but I do find the subject fascinating because well, I mean, I your initial, it too. Your initial obviously point I think was, about it a lot. Your, your initial point though is that there's nothing new under the sun, and then you said that because you can't really just uh, separate things that are ingrained in culture. From their component pieces, well, and so you know, people can't really complain about it. Does that mean that people can't really defend anything that's made because ostensibly it was always already made? Ostensibly. There is nothing new. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's tradition. No, here's the difference. Okay, I make I make a movie There's about another witch. a a captain I'll take, that I'll has take a her spaceship down. Um, that. That goes around and oh, that actually and does works. things for people. Okay. So, would you say that 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 storyline in and of itself is a direct rip off of anything? No, it's a direct rip off of a lot of things. Well, but here that that's the point. It's, it's a story that's been told. That it's been told a lot of times. Now, which one I was the first? Do a, well, no, that's not the point. The point is, if I do that same story, but it's about a captain named Malcolm Reynolds that has a ship <laughs> that's a Firefly class named Serenity, that's crossing the line. Oh, so it's not so much what the story is, just how much of the story matched something somebody else already did? How much of it you're borrowing, how much of it you're borrowing from another source? We tend to All have right, pretty well, good instincts about when something feels contrived rather than too original. much yeah and that's that seems like a little bit of a cop-out but at the same time it's effective I mean it prevents most of it yeah but where's I mean Americans are obsessed with distinctions and lines and classifications so where do you draw <laughs> where do you draw most America excuse me most Americans are so where do you draw the legal line like how much is too much uh, there's so many variables the I think line? you have to handle these case by case I think it would be and painting do. in much too broad of strokes to say that the, here is an exact rubric that can be used in every single situation. I mean, you have entire classes dedicated to copyright law. Yes. But even yeah, with, but you outside also have of the legality, thinking about underwater basket weaving, think about just the integrity. Uh, you really have to start thinking heavily about motivations. So it really goes back to motivations again. Like what? What it were your intentions? It always does to me. Look out! I think that that trumps almost anything. That's one reason why I there said even so if you did it by kids. accident, then you know legally there's an issue, but intrinsically there's really not. So like as an artist, they're still fine to you. Intrinsically, yeah. Just Reloading. just go back and I'll come up with something else. <laughs> So you have no problems with them as an artist per se, but you do have an art an issue with them from a legal standpoint. Why did we go in the bathrooms? There's never anything yeah. good in the bathrooms. <laughs> there is poo. I had to go. There is zombie poo. Oh, when you gotta walk. go, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Hey, Jurassic Park reference. There's a tube man chasing me. Oh god, a tube man. It's only you. Oh god. It's only you. Stop yelling, Lewis. I good heavens. I suppose I don't really uh I don't really disagree on any particular point. That's a first. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I have I have nothing really to disagree on. Everything you guys have said has been reasonable and rational, and it seems like you put a lot of thought into it. Uh, uh, I wish I can't really disagree on anything. Usual. You really need to stop. Well, my the, actual view, the moon just turned red and started everything... flying towards the Earth. The <laughs> My my actual view is that everything is actually a complete ripoff of Homer's The Iliad. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything, even the Bible. <laughs> totally the Bible, written totally written by Homer. <laughs> I mean, even if it predates it, they knew. They knew. <laughs> Another witch? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bingo. Ah, oh, I tried to hit him. No, Dingo. no, you stupid prepubescent girl. Go to hell. There's another charger or hunter, hunter, hunter. <laughs> Bill's always like, that wasn't necessary. I was going to get up later. <laughs> Soon as my hip popped back in a blaze. <laughs> Which I was going to do with my pocket knife. We're almost out uh, of here. Oh, yeah. We are. This is uh, this is rescue. This is the final one. Oh. Is there anything in this truck we can liberate, appropriate, whatever? Uh, a ton of zombies behind you. Like, a ton. <laughs> now, granted, I'm seeing a bunch of colorful, smiling <laughs> men with flappy arms. <laughs> well, you're making me wish I had the mod on. I'm jockey. Because it was pretty you great. Know, Oh my, I'm gonna die. Oh wait, no, Lewis saved me. Thank you, Lewis. You know, really, a ton of zombies wouldn't th wouldn't be that many. Because uh, a ton's only 2,000 pounds, an average person is probably pushing about 200. To That's be only fair, 10 though, zombies are pretty emaciated. Uh, also, to be fair, I like how you pronounce that. The, we are in America, and most people are obese. <laughs> yeah, these people aren't, though. <laughs> only the boomers. But the boomers are totally throwing off the uh, the average for the weight. Tanks too. Those guys have got some sick gains, bro. <laughs> All right, so uh, American let's, safeties. Let's talk about something uh, oh funny my. now, I guess. <laughs> Clouds, <laughs> not part of the sky. <laughs> Beep boop. What is love? <laughs> let's hit all the classic. Oh, coach is doing a dead body. Oh, that's that fell. <laughs> <laughs> Coach isn't even in this one. That, that, that made that made uh, that kind of made that joke kind of not funny. <laughs> it was too much. What? It was too much. Like Coach I, and Immortal. I feel Harry. bad. I missed it. <laughs> oh, uh, is this, can we, should we go into this room over here? To the infinite Let's go into this room. <laughs> I want to go softly into that dark night. It's go gently, gently into that good night. Not Lewis, for me. What are you doing out there? Like I said, I want to go. I want to go <laughs> softly into that dark night. That's yeah. I want to be inside Batman. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it sounded like. Whoa, that's a little much there, Dingo. That's what she said. He's reappropriating the poem. I wasn't a poem. What are, what are you talking about? <laughs> My intentions were to make a sexual <laughs> reference about putting things inside of Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I, I want to point out that you were in the wrong Let's Play for that. <laughs> yeah, bring Don't you know all later. the stories are the same? All the stories are the oh same. Oh god, Spitter Goo! I don't know Everybody why knows jump that. at Spitter Goo, it does nothing. You know, that's a pretty good example. Of, think of how often the motif of superhero is repeated and the variables that are changed to make each of them unique. Even though several are just straight up rip-offs. I don't know what you're talking about. There are no ripoffs <laughs> between DC and Marvel. No. <coughs> Deadpool, Can you Death one example. <laughs> Batman and Iron Man. <laughs> there well, is I mean, a little Death, bit there. Deadpool, Deadpool, and Deathstroke are completely different. They actually are really yeah, different they, they personalities. They spell their names. They spell their names completely different. I mean, it's not the same at all. To say they're the same is asinine at best. Yeah, but it's one of those times. I don't know. And I mentioned um, this before, but Deadpool is so much cooler than Deathstroke. How did that happen? And he was the <laughs> ripoff. All right. So there's probably going to be a tank. I don't know what you're talking about. I've not seen a single tank in this entire game. Deadpool may Deadpool actually be tank. a liberated oh, there he idea. Is. Come here, buddy. 
Oh no, no, I have to reload. Where's the tank? Oh, I'm, I'm smoked. Walking off alone. He's over here by me. I had to reload for some reason. Oh, I hate the sniper rifles for that glitch. Oh, well, he's hit. I'm gonna get I'm him with the frying around. pan, folks. Ring uh, around planes. the tanky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're supposed <laughs> to be using the generator for cover. <laughs> Generators, the tank's one weakness. <laughs> well, he, he, they, they aren't movable. You can't move them. Yeah, you can dance around them, but I really Ever. wanted to get in his face. <laughs> Once you build a generator, it has to stay in that one place. <laughs> <laughs> it has wheels, but they're, they're bolted to the ground. They're quantum locked. <laughs> the way it generates power is actually through Earth's crust. Um... All right. Well, here's here's an interesting question. Would you consider the survivors from Left 4 Dead to be superheroes? I mean, obviously they are doing very Superheroes? superhuman things. <laughs> that is kind of true. But no, I would not. Why not? Uh, because I They're consider this to be as... a stylized and outlandish version of normal people that they are not set next to normal people. With a superhero, they always have normal people next to them to show the contrast. In this one, the whole universe is wanky. Counterpoint. Um, they are being shown against normal people. Uh, the thing that makes the survivors different is that they are genetically immune. Uh, so therefore, they are mutants. So they're superheroes the same as like X-Men are. And all the normal people that they're being no, juxtaposed are all I the ones that were brutally that. murdering That's right saying now. that any That's difference like or immunity makes somebody a superhero. That's a bit of a big problem. Well, I mean, if they're doing say. things that are super afterwards, well, like what? Being super I is mean, more about I, your actions. What are I they doing? They, they're already showing the, themselves. They're, they're immune. They're, they're immune. Spot. So they're I'm genetically different. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm immune to chicken pox. Does that make me a superhero? <laughs> yeah, you're not immune. That's, you're just highly I'm resistant. Saying. Well, Help they're just folks. resistant. No, they're immune. They, they can't become zombies. You're, they just die. always end up arguing semantics. can't get the chicken pox. I'm charged. You always you just can, end up arguing about shingles. the definition of a word. That is all yeah, it comes down to. The chicken box. That's yeah, two different diseases. Look, well, you know what? You know what? Let's just make words mean nothing. Let's just make all words mean <laughs> different things at all the time, and we can all just you know what? Pudding, pudding. You, you know what that means? <laughs> that means I want to do horrible things to you in your sleep. This is the only argument I mean, I, we I have. So pudding. yeah, essentially. I said pudding. I said pudding, but I meant horrible, dirty but things to you in your sleep. There Look, I'm saying I don't want to talk about the definitions diseases. of words. You're saying that you do. That's all you end up talking you about. You have to define. You have to define what you're talking about. But your definitions always vary from what tip people Where's, typically use. I hear use. a helicopter. Where is the helicopter? Oh, he's, oh, we gotta, go up, the tower. Tower. We gotta go up the tower. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's climb the tower. Crystal behind you. Oh, I'm hunted. Coming, coming, coming. Okay. <laughs> Apparently I was the only one running towards the tower. <laughs> no, I got a glue handed. Sorry. I was using a slightly different route. That's the <laughs> kind of the theme of this. One? Running up the tower, the tower, the tower, running up the tower as fast as I can go. Can you go out the other side? Oh, the, plane, the helicopter? I wonder if nope. the tower would have you actually cannot. been a pretty good place to take. Oh. <laughs> you were hanging on the helicopter. I <laughs> wonder that you were hanging on the helicopter. I was. That'd be great. I was hanging right off the side of it. Dramatic moments. Okay, we gotta wrap this up. Um, Chrysler, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Oh. <laughs> um, my final thoughts are I really liked it. I thought it was fun. It was colorful. Uh, Dead beat. The levels were well. Uh, the levels were well laid out. It kept me interested. It was a, I had no complaints about it. I didn't feel like at any point it was too hard or too easy. Um, and the finale was actually a, a fun one. There was a small push through, but not not bad by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, yeah, I really liked it. I highly recommend it for a download. All right, Johnson. Uh, it does seem to be good. I'm amazed that we managed to pay so little attention to, attention to it the whole time and win, though. That seems a bit strange. But it did uh, look really nice every time I paid attention to it, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, it w it was interestingly laid out. I really feel like I ought to play it again on something like Versus, and see how it goes, because it seemed to run like Why? a normal what, what actual is, Left 4 Dead. Are you suggesting a Versus round? 
what? A versus video? Maybe, perhaps, in a couple of weeks on this map? Perhaps. <laughs> but anyway, that uh, was my thoughts. Dingo? Um, I really have to say, I am very pleasantly surprised. Extremely pleasantly surprised. Uh, I had just picked this map as at random, just out of nowhere, and uh, it was it was really good. Um, all of the layouts were nice. the The fact that you could take multiple paths was really cool. Um, it does lead to a little bit of confusion for us, just because we're very indecisive people. Yeah, verb. <laughs> I'm gonna verb you, all right. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm sorry that we kind of got into a, a philosophical debate on that one, but I don't know. It's nice to actually get where you guys stand on things, and it gives you a chance to uh, express your views to the world kind of thing. <laughs> Man, Jotsam is furiously typing. I can hear him in the Mostly background. Typing furiously really slowly. typing. <laughs> now I can hear it. No, all right. So my whole point there was that they are genetically dissimilar. They are genetically dissimilar from the regular populace, thus making them similar to like okay, X-Men, well, who are mutants, who are then superheroes, not necessarily because of what they are, but because of what they do. These people genetically different than the regular populace, and then they go out and do superhuman things. Yeah, but what are the superhuman okay, things well, they I'll, do besides immunity? Have you have to tell me that. Besi have, besides kill four people killing 1,600 zombies? Yeah, but you don't know that other we people can't do that. That's not related to the immunity. That's just the, the, the weird the and wacky physics either. world you... that we live in. That has to do with the universe, not the people, not superheroes. Okay, well, that's like Deadpool. Counterpoint, counterpoint. Okay, no. <laughs> so females cannot get diseases that are attached to the Y chromosome. Therefore, they are genetically different. Does that make all female superheroes? Yes. Most feminists would say yes. <laughs> Can we wrap this up? If I say yes, if I say yes, will that lead to me getting more sex? <laughs> if yes, then the answer is yes. If no, the answer is but probably anyway. still yes, because I don't want to get murdered in my sleep. I, am I don't want to get pudding. I don't, I don't want to get pudding. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's all for me. Jotsam, rating. Uh, what's the scale tonight? <laughs> Six puddings out of seven. <laughs> well, obviously less puddings is better, so I'm going to go with a half pudding. You're only touched and groped a little bit at night, and I feel like that's kind of what you we have liked it. You You weren't even asleep. You were in that, like, twilight dream state. <laughs> so definitely Don't a half pudding twilight. for me. Uh... <laughs> Dingo. Um, I'm gonna give it. Well, I'll give it one pudding. I'll give it one pudding. Uh, because it would have been nice, even though there are multiple paths. It would have been nice to have kind of a an arrow or something that definitely says, "Hey, this is most definitely progress." That's the only thing. That's the only thing is just you know you could take these other routes, but here's you know the traditional route. Um. Uh. Well, since apparently words mean nothing according to Dingo, I'm going to give it no, seven No, according to Jotsam. According to Jotsam, words mean nothing. And they no, can have just whatever meaning arguments over what that words moment. means instead of arguing actual ideas is what's pointless. Look, ideas are bulletproof, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is that Lincoln needed ideas. Um, he needed an idea hat. His thinking cap. <laughs> All right. So. I'd vote for somebody named Uncle Papa Puddin. I would. I would vote for him in a heartbeat. Vote for Uncle Papa Puddin, y'all. Lover, friend. Uh, all right. And so. now you're mayor. <laughs> <laughs> new so new city law. No locked doors at night. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody has to take three Ambien before they go to sleep. Crystal Beagle playthroughs. This is Kreslov. This is Dookie Dingo. And this is, this is Uncle, Uncle Papa, Papa Puddin. Puddin. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you guys had as much fun watching as we had playing. Good night. Y'all. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>